Case IH and Raven Industries have teamed up to create a first for the ag industry, an autonomous spreader. You can plan and complete an entire field operation based on mapped field boundaries, all from your mobile device without a driver in the cab. Tonight, we're taking a closer look at how it all works. Good evening and welcome to Rural America Live. I'm Janet Adkison. The Case IH Trident 5550 applicator with Raven Autonomy was introduced earlier this month at the 2022 Farm Progress Show. Well, if you didn't get the chance to see it in person, you're in luck because tonight we're going to give you an in-depth look at how this piece of equipment is leading the way in innovation for the ag industry. And here with me tonight is Raven Industries Director of Sales for North America and Australia, Ben Voss, and Case IH Precision Technology Global Director, Chris Dempsey. Gentlemen, thanks for taking the time to join us here this evening. We appreciate it. Thanks for yeah. having us. The weather thanks. here is a little bit better, at least protected inside versus what you experienced at <laughs> the farm show, I know. Uh, first of all, Ben, why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself? Yeah, thanks. So I uh, live in Sioux Falls, South Dakota. I work at Ravens headquarters, but I'm originally from Canada and I uh, grew up on a farm in Saskatchewan. I actually own and operate that farm with my family and uh, I'm an agricultural engineer. I've designed farm equipment a lot of my life and it's been exciting to join Raven and be part of the technology group now. Who knew that your career path was already set yeah. when you were playing with toys on the living room floor? That's right. <laughs> <laughs> what do they call that? Carpet farming? Is that the, the term that's used like now? That, yeah. Okay. And then Chris, how about yourself? Yeah, home for me is southeast Wisconsin. I grew up in uh, McHenry County, northern Illinois. Grew up on a small family farm, still somewhat involved there. Um, I've been with Case IH for about 10 years, came up through the technical support group and, and ultimately ended where I am now leading the, the global group for Case IH Precision Technology. And you still help around the farm, you said? I do. How have th things uh, been this year? Good, good. I can't, can't complain. Weather's been good. Gotten rain when we needed it. And nobody listens when you complain anyway, do they? <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> Not too often, anyhow. Well, let's go ahead and just jump on into the excitement that we're talking about. Whenever we're bringing autonomy here to the table, it certainly is exciting. So, Ben, you had an incredible mm -hmm. time at the Farm Progress Show, Case IH and Raven coming together, unveiling the industry's first autonomous spreader. So I know that it definitely drew a crowd while you guys were there. Uh, before we get into that, though, can you talk a little about, about autonomy and its role in agriculture? Yeah, it's autonomy for uh, almost everybody is something different. We know that it's very intimidating. There's a lot of technology that goes into farm equipment today. It's already quite automated, but autonomous Technology really is a building block of various steps of equipment that goes in the cab of a machine and takes over everything from steering to control of the machine itself. All of the functions that you normally do as a human operator can now be done completely by technology. If our grandparents knew. That's right. They probably would have questioned everything though. Uh, Chris, I know that you have kind of a, a few more details on that front. Yeah, so just to kind of frame the, the discussion a little bit, both Case IH and Raven look at our autonomy and automation journeys in five pretty distinct categories. So the first one is um, the basics of guidance, auto guidance as we've known for, for a number of decades. Um, the second one is actually coordination and optimization, which is bringing multiple pieces of equipment into the field at the same time that, that talk to each other. And we also introduce connectivity here. So the ability to remotely monitor, manage, control, et cetera. The third is automating specific in-cab tasks. So we'll talk a little bit later about uh, a product called Harvest Command that allows us to automate combine settings um, without having to you know, physically intervene. The fourth is where the autonomous trident comes into play, which is supervised autonomy. So we're gonna go ahead and take somebody out of the cab or potentially take them out of the cab, um, but not away from the operation completely. So they're still there to monitor. Um, ultimately leading up to full autonomy, which is taking somebody out of the cab and totally away from the operation to be redeployed somewhere else. In the early stages of trust but verify for, exactly. for now anyway. Exactly. So Ben, talk a little bit about how you guys engage uh, customers into this process uh, and draw their insights, their feedback on building the next piece of equipment. Well, obviously at Farm Progress Show, we had a really big unveiling. And at that show, we actually were able to run live demos so customers were able to get in the cab or sit at the side of the of the demo area and, and watch how autonomy is actually deployed in action. We have a team of specialists that work at Raven that work directly with customers and it can be done at their farms in development stages or at uh, testing. Mm -hmm. But for us, uh, the shows is a great opportunity to engage with uh, customers directly. So we, uh, we have a great team that leads that. 
Well, of course, there's a number of farm shows that take place throughout the year, but I know you guys were at Ag PhD Field Day. Our own Mark Alpold was also at the Ag PhD Field Day and has a little bit of behind the scenes shot here with us. Well, thank you very much. I think if I had to take a poll, I think this guy would be uh, on top of the list for the best job at Ag PhD Field Day or any field day around the country. This is Ben Sees. Ben, good to see you again. You are manager of the customer experience. You get to travel a lot of the country. You're traveling a lot, but boy, get to be able to talk to these producers. Why is it important for, for Raven to invest in these demo experiences? Well, it's, it's uh, you know, we bring technology and hardware to the shows and booths like this all the time. However, when they don't get to see the product in action, they don't get the full value. So when we, Rich right behind me, we have a demo going on with some of one of our autonomous products, and it's really great to have the people be exposed and, and, and get that experience, the in-cab experience within the tractor, and they get to ask questions. We have product experts here. Uh, it's really great to, to have them be in an immersive situation. Yeah, I think that's, that's my next question, and, and you've answered that partly. Why is it important you encourage producers to come and experience firsthand? Yeah, you know, we have product experts here that can talk about not only what's coming out new, what's not, what's in the, our demos, but also talk about the current Raven core technology that's built us from the last 40 years in the ag segment. So uh, that gives us a chance to talk a little bit about that. All of our autonomous equipment incorporates all of our core technology in there. So even if we're not talking about the autonomy stuff, we can also talk about the core technology and problems they may have on their sprayer with one particular piece of hardware. So it's really good to have them uh, immersive in that. And you said before coming on, you said, Mark, it's kind of like anything else in agriculture. Everybody has a little different experience, a little different setup, and Raven can answer those questions. That's right. It's, uh, you know, we, I travel around a lot with the, starting now with show season, and we get all kinds of questions about, well, how would you handle this? We get a lot of feedback. We, we, we try to you know, with our demo uh, trailer or our, our command center, uh, we try to bring people in, invite them in to talk about, you know, some of their experiences. And we want to make sure that we're, we're, we get that feedback because we incorporate that into our technology, uh, both from here in, in the Great Plains, to the Midwest, to the South. So it's really great to, to get that feedback and we incorporate that in. Well, talk about feedback. What kind of reactions do you get from these people when they get to ride exactly and see it? I think the very first thing that everybody says is, Oh my gosh, I, I wasn't expecting that tractor to be coming up and not have anybody in it. Same with our OmniPower technology where you don't have a cab at all. Uh, you know, seeing that machine out in the field operating its, its uh, mission with nobody in it, uh, somebody at the edge of the field with an, with an iPad essentially, that's, that's really powerful to see. And it goes back to your first question is, is why do we invest in this? It's to see the look on their faces, it's to get that, that uh, experience for them. Where can our viewers, listeners learn more, Ben? Well, I'd encourage you to come see us at any one of the farm shows, the major farm shows. Um, our schedule is on raven.com, and come see us. We'll be there. Good to see you again. All right. Thanks, Mark. All right. Ben Sees with Raven Industries. A great job. Travel a lot around the country, but giving you producers experience firsthand. Now, again, that's our own Mark Oppel, and he was on location at the Ag PhD Field Day. You can tell he's excited about it, as is everybody else leading up, of course, to the big unveiling. Now, Chris, we look at the autonomous spreader that you guys had. Talk about the journey that Case IH and Raven took to get it on the market and the, um, the Farm Progress Show unveiling, and then why the Trident? Yeah, for sure. So, first and foremost, from both a Raven and Case IH perspective, our customer base is central to everything we do and the reasons why we do it. The first and foremost reason we chose Trident was because uh, based on customer feedback, where they had confidence, where they didn't, um, the, the spreading application was an area where we knew we could get something in the market and get some feedback quickly without um, you know, interrupting their, their operations in a way that was not allowing them to be successful. So the, the second reason is leveraging the core competencies of both companies, right? Raven is deeply rooted in their technical ability to deliver application and autonomy control systems. Case IH, certainly 180-year-old iron equipment manufacturer. Um, our agronomic design principles that are applied to Trident, the combination of those solutions together um, was, was really a no-brainer for us.
I'm going to have you guys talk a little bit. We had some B-roll playing there, so I'm going to see if they'll maybe re-rack that and play that B-roll again. And I want you to kind of explain what we're seeing on the screen as we're going about that. So, And also, if you would, kind of follow up on what he had to say, Ben. Yeah, so we're always looking to bring greater efficiencies for our customers. So this shows how the Trident is being operated without anybody in the cab right now. <laughs> um, this is basically the same machine that you can buy today, and it's been... It, it's been installed with Raven technology as an aftermarket kit so that that kit is able to control all the functions. That machine that we're seeing right now, which is the OmniPower, is the, has the same core technology in it. So there's no cab on the OmniPower machine. We're able to take all the same control system that's running that driverless machine and install it in the Trident. And that gave us the ability to come to market quickly as a uh, really within only a few months of our companies coming together. So that's, that's pretty exciting, pretty yeah. fast technology. Yeah. Why, why should you automate a spreader? So uh, when you look at the customer situation that the spreader is being used in, we have uh, growers and we have uh, custom applicators. Custom applicators can be also part of a retailers. They are covering a lot of ground and they're looking to try to gain more efficiency out of the machine, better utilization of it. They also struggle with labor today. We know that that's a mm -hmm. huge issue for everybody. So by putting more automation in the cab, they're able to ensure that that job is done the same every time and that they can actually cover more acres than they could before. So that creates a better return on investment for that machine purchase. Now you touched on this also, and CNH, uh, Industrial Acquired Raven, that was in November of 2021, mm -hmm. the autonomous spreader, first collaborative effort, and we talked about this a little bit earlier and Ben touched on it. It was pretty fast turnaround. Yeah, it was extremely fast. I, in, in fairness and to, to credit to both the Case IH and Raven teams, um, incredible rapid innovation. We we had a little bit of, a, of an upside here, which is the fact that both companies have worked together very closely for a number of years. Um, so that the teams were very, very familiar with each other. Um, it allowed us to, to make some advances, you know, very very, very quickly. So um, cannot give our teams enough credit for what they were able to accomplish in, in eight months. Uh -huh. It sounds like it was an easy partnership, it, a natural partnership. Very much so. Well, very cool. Now, Ben, you both mentioned that the customer is an integral part of the whole process. Talk a little bit and tell us more about how the customer plays a role in this product development. So we love the fact that we can work closely with customers on product development. We hire you know, headquartered in the Midwest, so our facilities are right in the middle of fields, literally. Our research facilities are just down the road from farmers, and many of our employees are farmers as well. So as we go through every any product development, we're always engaged with customers, both in terms of feedback to the initial designs, but also then as we're testing and proving it out. So that has given us uh, a really rapid path to getting our product development underway. And to me, that ability for our engineers to work really closely with our customer directly has been uh, one of the things that's really set us apart. And I know we're, we're going to hear from one of our engineers on what, how he feels about that. Well, that is very true. With that, let's do go ahead and take a quick look at an interview with Luke Puckett. There are really a couple different key areas that Raven focuses on in order to stay on uh, the cutting edge of innovative technology. One of those is really strong customer feedback. So at Raven, there's not a couple of select individuals who communicate problems and talk to customers and then give that to a design team in order to create a, pro a product. What we have at Raven is a strongly encourage for every member to go out there, experience what a customer experiences, learn the different problems that customers are facing, you go and you ride along with a customer and a machine. You see the day-to-day -day struggles that they face. You see the problems that they face. And you see solutions that we could currently provide with our technology and also a roadmap that we need to start pursuing in order for our technology to meet those needs. And so the unique benefit of that is there's multiple individuals who bring each of their individual backgrounds, each of their individual abilities, their different educational backgrounds, their different disciplines that they've studied, and they're all focusing on customer problems. And they each bring unique value and unique decisions and unique perspective on how we can solve those problems. The really big benefit of that is that bubbles up into a finalized solution that we can pick and choose from and you can find the best solution to fix your customer's problem. One of the big advantages that we believe we have at Raven is the minute a product is developed, the minute a block of code is written, 
we're able to go out, we're able to test that product on a real machine out at the Raven Innovation Campus or at the testing facilities we have down in Texas and Arizona. The benefit that that provides is the minute something is ready to test on a production machine is out there being tested. We have engineers and Raven team members who know the problem. They come up with a solution and they're able to test that solution very quickly. They're able to iterate on that solution very quickly. And because they know the problem and because they know the solution that they're trying to find and, and fulfill and bring to that customer, they're able to know very quickly whether or not it meets that customer's expectations. And so you're able to identify problems, identify solutions, and iterate on those solutions in order to provide the best possible customer feedback. Well, on that note now, as he said, he was talking about the Raven Innovation Campus. You guys have both had this experience. What exactly are we talking about here? Yeah, I mean, from the, the Case IH side, um, our, our DNA is very similar to what Ben mentioned. I mean, again, 180-year-old uh, full-line equipment manufacturer. Every development effort that we take on starts with customer feedback, and the customer is involved every step of the way. So, starting with what they need, what you know, what they would like to see different, getting that into a proof of concept, if you will, getting it out into the field, taking that feedback, and, and iterating until we finally get to a you know a truly commercially viable product. Um, that's something that. Uh, that Case IH, Case IH actually calls customer-driven product development. It is a legitimate internal process that um, we hold every one of our development activities to very stringent, um, you know, customer-type requirements. Talk a little bit about the campus as well. Where exactly is it located? So the yeah, the Raven Innovation Campus is we call it our farm. Uh -huh. It's literally a couple hundred acres just outside of Sioux Falls, so just north of town. It's got all the facilities that we need to be able to do rapid prototyping and testing, but also has real life fields mm -hmm. that we can drive our equipment in. So that's what Luke talked about is that that, that facility gives us a chance to test things very, very quickly. It sounds like an oversized playground for tech, yep. <laughs> those in ag tech. I mean, he was talking about uh, coding and going out and running it very lickety split. And then also the large equipment that you can get out there and test. I mean, that sounds like almost kind of a dream job for a lot of people. It is. There's a lot of people that like working at our companies together because of the fact that we can do this so quickly and that we have real life settings to work like in. Like like this. Well, that sounds like a, a perfect kind of relationship there on things. Uh, we're going to, of course, open up the phone lines here in just a little bit, and we're going to continue our conversation. But we also, in talking about the phone lines, want you to give us a call. That number is 877-731-6733. That's 877-731-6733. Now, when we come back, we're going to talk more about the recent unveiling of the Case IH Trident 5550, the applicator with Raven Autonomy. That was done at the Farm Progress Show. Stay with us.